sorry, I'm going a bit over here, but how easy is it to get carried away and inspired by all our winners? I just reckon it's fascinating to hear all of their stories. And we've got more to come. We only have two more awards until we announce the big one, the Australian Exporter of the Year. Uh, in the meantime, let's look at the Small Business Award for outstanding international success by any business with total annual sales under $10 million. I'd like to welcome our sponsor of this category, Managing Director and Chief Executive of Export Finance Australia, Swati Dave. Swati, before you announce the finalists of the small business category, why don't you tell us how Export Finance Australia supports our exporters? Thanks, David. As the Australian Government's Export Credit Agency, our role is to finance exporters so they can grow and succeed internationally. We work closely with partners such as Austrade and the commercial banks to support exporters on this growth journey. We've sponsored these awards for the last 26 years and many of our customers have been nominated and won these awards. And we're delighted to recognise and celebrate all these wonderful exporter achievements. Now, the finalists for the Australian Export Awards for the small business category are Apsium Technologies from South Australia, Aristotle Metadata from Australian Capital Territory, Dutch Ann Sandalwood Oils from Western Australia, Hill Farm Preserves from Tasmania, I Build Building Solutions from Victoria, One Model from Queensland, and Twisted Healthy Treats from New South Wales. Thanks, David. And the winner of the Small Business Award is I Build Building Solutions. <laughs> Uh, Jackson, congratulations to, to you and I Build Building Solutions. You've, you've won in the small business category with some big ideas, though. Um, give us your tips for fellow small businesses out there on how to take your business to greater heights. Oh, thanks, uh, Kosh. The, uh, the tip we have is to be uh, innovative and to be agile, particularly in light of the COVID. Uh, we need to be very adaptive to the new uh, situation and boost the digital uh, presence, particularly the search engine optimization. Work on the 3D walkthrough uh, VRs and ARs so that we can show our uh, display homes virtually to the uh, clients around the world, rather than we can't in the past. Uh, we would use a physical display home to uh, get our clients come here to potentially to uh, to conduct the sales activities because of COVID. Now we're forced to do digitally, and that proved to be quite a rewarding experience. Right. So go back to the very start. How yeah. did you come up with the idea of virtual reality walkthroughs to to target overseas customers, and and why has this been so effective? Um, we were a relatively small business. Uh, building a display home is quite an expensive exercise. Um, the COVID forced us to close down all our display uh, you know, walkthrough activities. And our team just thought uh, we have to find other ways to reach our customers. I think the, uh, the VR digital showroom uh, will give us the age we are on the same level playing field with the big boys. So that's uh, proven to be quite a rewarding uh, experiment for us. Yeah. Uh, was it a bit nerve wracking, as you were saying, taking on the big boys? It is, it is, because we actually won our uh, projects, uh, one of clients in Senegal, uh, in West Africa, um, working on a German foreign aid project in and selected uh, us uh, to be a supplier of 11 homes to be shipped to uh, West Africa for the German Foreign Aid Project. Wow, West Africa. Look, congratulations, Jackson, um, to iBuild Building Solutions. Well done. Go and celebrate. Don't forget the Australian Exporter of the Year Award is coming up and you're eligible for it. So uh, stick around. Good to see you.